What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. Catch us out online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. More space news for you today. Don't be sad. I know ice on, but bombing out is sad. It's I was, you know, I really wanted to see it up in the sky. I wanted to see it like hail bop. It's been a while, you know, since we had something amazing that we could go out there and see. Um, but that's not the end of the world here. Even though we've got NBC News and everybody else are finally saying Comet Ison leftover fades away right before the satellite's eyes. Basically, I went over this in my last video. If you look at my last video that talked about Comet Ison, this will probably be my last Comet Ison video unless something amazing happens um, between then. But don't be down because there's two things going on we're going to be covering here and uh, I think deserve a lot more coverage. And right now is first. Congratulations to India. They were able to go ahead and get out of Earth's orbit. India's first Mars probe, MOM, blasts free of Earth joining Maven in a race to the red planet. I can't just, this is so cool. The, the uh, you know, from Earth, we've got two probes just side by side heading out of here. India's first ever Mars probe, MOM, successfully fired its main engine today, blasting the craft free of the Earth's sphere of influence forever to begin her nearly year-long momentous voyage to the red planet. Indian space engineers initiated the 440 Newton liquid-fueled engine firing precisely at planned at zero, what is that, 049 hours, wow, on Sunday, December 1st, during a critical nail-biting burn lasting some 22 minutes. Wow, 22 minutes, they had a little bit of gas left there, huh? This is called the Trans-Mars Insertion, firing propelled India's Mars Orbiter mission away from Earth's forever and place the spacecraft on a course for a rendezvous with the Red Planet on September 24th, 2014, where it will study the atmosphere and sniff for signals of methane. It will also be taking pictures, which I'm excited about because I want to see their, their pictures of the Mars surface. Um, I hope that India will share. Congratulations, guys. If you watch my channel, you know I've been pumped. You know I've gotten a whole lot of subscribers for India. I love you guys. Like I said, I, I'm excited just because i got a lot of friends that are Indian. I've I'm an IT guy, so I've worked with a lot of amazing people in that, from India that come over. I tell you what, half of our IT structure wouldn't be if, if it weren't for some of the great minds over in India. So let's see here. And then the next thing that I'm really excited about, China launches its first ever moon rover. This is cool. It, I've been, if you follow my channel, you know you've been watching this too. China launched its first ever moon rover mission early Monday, slated TV shows, and a latest step in an ambitious space program seen as a symbol of a rising global stature. The Chang'e 3 rocket carrying the Jade Rabbit rover blasted off around 1.30 a.m. GMT into a dark sky. The CCTV official broadcaster showed in live footage from the X Chang Satellite Launch Center in southwest of the country. The probe is due to land on the moon in mid-December. I think it's December 14th that's due to land up there. To explore its surface and look for natural resources. It's the world's third lunar rover mission followed by those in the United States and the former Soviet Union decades earlier. It's been a while since we've been to the moon, and there's been so much speculation on why we haven't been back to the moon. This is just awesome that they are going back here, space.com. China's first moon rover launches a lunar journey. Same thing here. China's basically saying, riding atop, modified Long March 3B rocket, China's Chang'e 3 lander, and its rover U-2 toward the moon at 1.30 a.m. So... We've got plenty to look forward to. I know that China has put out some amazing thing with their Chang'e, the Chang'e 1. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I don't think I have many Chinese subscribers. I have a lot of Indian subscribers, not a lot of Chinese subscribers. Hopefully we'll get some. And if I'm saying that wrong, please hit below. I love how everybody, like I said, I'm not sure. Half this, half this stuff, I, I'm from America. I don't know how to say half of these words sometimes. I'm just bringing it to you. I'm just excited that space is now, it, it, it's officially becoming a world a world get together thing because we got to get off this planet. And I keep saying this, there's no way to survive this planet. If you just look at the past, I mean, if we're going to be, we're just going to be another a layer of the strata at one point that something's been digging, that's going to dig us out of if we don't figure out how to leave this planet because it is not a stable planet. Um, it's not a stable planet. Like I said, I've said many times, if I was an extraterrestrial civilization, I might come here to take resources from the planet, but I surely wouldn't want to stick around this place. You know, not with the cyclones, the, the hurricanes, the, just the amazing weather phenomenon we have here, which makes it a very unique place. So much love, guys. China, woo. India, boom. Ison, we won't see you up there, but I'm going to go ahead and say rest in peace to Ison. This will be my last video. I say it in. Much love to you guys. Thank you all the new subscribers. We'll be back to some anomaly videos. Hopefully, maybe tonight. I went off and uh, went to the casino last night with Anna, my girlfriend. She's the girl in the uh, little thumbnail up there. And uh, 
we had a good time. So it's been a it's been a fun night and it's been a rough long one. So <laughs> I might just go ahead and say this will be my last video for a day and I'll see you guys later. All right. Peace. I got to get up here and see it. Peace.